Yes. <laughs> Setting up that fl that flame strike. There you go. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Come on. Two small minions. Let's go. Two four fours. This trades into here. Okay. Zubat. There you go. That's the first one. One more. Let's go. One more. This flame strike is gonna be devastating, folks. Come on. He is really tentative here. Yes! Yes! And he played I ah, went all in of the flame strike! Oopsies! Oopsies! Whoops! You know exactly what's happening, man. Come on, man! Playing right into flame strike! Wow, wait! That could not have gone better! That could not have gone better! All right, uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of it. I'll see what our choices are. You know what? I want to kind of branch out to new heroes now in Arena, since we kind of got it down. We have pretty good ones. I want to try Mage again, even though the power is good, the uh, cards are not so good. I do have very good Priest and Druid runs already, so let's try Mage. All right, a little variety for you. This horrible, horrible, horrible. Ugh, this is the best of the. I wonder if I'm actually, instead of Gadgets Auctioneer, I'm going to go with Bookworm. I think, actually, Bookworm does pull off. They're only giving it a three-point difference. I'm actually going to try Bookworm this time, uh, because it happens to be can get a lot of dragons. It's definitely the best one. Again, not a great card, but it's better than these other two pieces of trash garbage. Ooh, not bad. Let's see if we can actually pull some dragons here. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is probably better. Um... Egg Napper is better. Okay. Ooh, probably the dragon, actually, the synergy. Uh, there is some synergy in the deck. I think just general, you want cards you can play on turn two. This is a good card, but you can't really play it on turn two. Uh, Ogre looks pretty good. The Thrill Duke damage them. Here, ooh, that's horrible. Yeah, Ogre. And what have we got here? Elemental. This is a good, again, good stats. Four cost, five attack, four health. There is some synergy in this deck, too, because we have the Elemental. Uh... Elemental Synergy, here we go. Uh, again, this is okay, and this is not good. So we'll go with the uh, the best value card. These two are all right. Um, <laughs> they're calling it an attrition deck. I disagree. Uh, do you want another four? As opposed to a late game card right now. We kind of already do have a couple of really big guys. I don't necessarily need this. I think a four, five, four is actually is actually better at this point, so I'm going to go with the uh, Corsair, even though there's no obviously no weapon synergy. Fireball, always pick Fireball. It's a great card. And, ooh, I think Vulcan. I See, they're giving this, they're really c considering us to have an attrition deck already, since we've picked a bunch of early early picks that have been sort of late game. We don't really have a lot of early game. I have no threes yet. Um, this isn't, again, this is very circumstantial. This is a dragon, and uh, this is not very good. I guess we'll go with Volcanic Potion, and anyway, it's probably the best one. Polymorph, for sure. Good removal card. Uh, ooh, nice, beautiful. It's a nice two drop, and it's again. There's we're gonna we'll have a couple a couple of tricks. Maybe we'll get some value with that. Um, dun dun dun. This isn't bad. This is probably the better card. I don't even have a lot of threes, so this is definitely not the Warden. This is okay. This is probably a better card, though. That's just a 4-4-4 four, four, four usually. Yes, 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 I love you. I love you. Primordial Drake is one of the best arena cards, period, period. See how high of a score they gave him? Better believe it. Uh, definitely need a 3, so this should be fine. This is horrible, and this is not very below average. This is, that's an okay. Ooh, Flame Strike. Yeah, baby. <laughs> one of the best. We're getting a, some really... Got a Fireball Polymorph and a Flame Strike already. We're getting some really good picks. Um... This is interesting. They're saying we need a five drop. I think we need threes much more than five. We only have one three. Not having fives is not as important as not having threes. Uh, this is a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a of a liability card with mage, just because the fire blast is a very very good power. I'm still going with Mindbreaker though. Not listening. Even though that's not a bad card. Second fireball definitely. Ooh, we got two fireballs. <laughs> the finishers are real. Uh, definitely not. These two are horrible cards, so we'll go with the late game. Still need some twos and threes, mostly. Holy crap, this is such a great card. 
this is again one of the best best uh one of the best cards in arena it's it's just it's just it's just go what was the synergy again Oof, this is a bad card again we're going with the strongest value card which is this we have a lot of late game we need to pick as many early games as possible which one of these are better that's interesting. A 3-2 taunt. How many taunts? Not... Okay, they're, they're scoring these one apart. It's definitely going to be one of these. I do happen to like 2 threes slightly better than 3 twos. This does have taunt. The taunt is better than the spell damage, though. Um, do we have... Okay, so for, so for spell damage, we just have fireballs. We also have um, flame strike, so it is possible to actually get a late, you know, strong flame strike with this. Oh, there's really not. You know, if we're really gonna be playing this on. I, I, this is just. I, I, we're gonna go with the stats, which two three is better. Uh, Rubian or Anoyatron. Um, do we really need a five? I think we really need a three though, and this can work as a three. I think this is actually better value. Uh, Anoyatron isn't bad though. How many dragons do we have? Ooh, there's a. Wait, we have one, two, including that one. Let's have three dragons, which is, again, that's two other things to hit, hit this is pretty good. I'm going to go with Nerubian because we really need a three. This actually cancels a three drop. I don't think they're factoring that in. If it's in your starting hand, it's a three. This is a really good card. I have a lot of really, really high quality cards, like really high. Uh, we just need some more early game. Problem your entity. Nice. Uh, ooh, I think it's going to be another st stubborn. This isn't a bad card, Death Rattle, add, add a spell to your hand, but this is this is just better value. So we're getting some early game. We need threes, is what we need. Probably going to be Cult Master. Uh, this is horrible. <laughs> They're calling us a control deck. It so is. We're actually playing a control deck in Arena, which is weird. We have such strong late game. Such strong late game and so much removal. I mean, insanity. <laughs> Look at all the removal we have in this deck. Still the best value. We could go with Tentacle, but meh. It's, it's, it, it's a Makarja. Ooh, maybe Arcane. This is interesting. This is a good card. You're saying we need fives. We really do need fives, so. Uh, even though this is a fine card. Well, we'll go with the five. Not much synergy in this deck. Ooh, I think it's gonna be, that's tough. These are three great, great picks. Do we really need more fours? It's not a playable four, so we have one, uh, two, three. We only have three playable fours, and there is some serious elemental synergy in this deck. Amazing! Look how many elementals we have. Look at all these. We're going to have three turn four elementals, and then follow it up with Servant of Kalamos. Uh, <laughs> if we had a million secrets, this would be good. These two cards are useless, so... Uh, that's our last pick. All right, guys. So I I actually agree with their assessment. This is this is a control deck. This is weird. We have nothing on one. We have very very good twos. Uh, one two three four five six six twos, and then we just have a few threes. It's actually really good that we picked a volcanic potion because we are the three slot is really really bad. We're gonna end up playing. We have to hard mulligan for a two and a three. We have no ones. It's on turn four and on that this deck becomes so strong. We have insane late game, and we have a lot of removal, so we have to stay alive. This is actually a proper control deck because of how much removal we have. We just have tons, two fireballs, polymorph. We have flame strike. We have we have primordial drake. We have just frost lich. I mean, this is the, this is really the finisher in this deck in a way. But we have so look at this. <laughs> we have bone mare. We have so, such good late game. Here's another... Oh, this is a beast. I thought it was a dragon. Oh, it looks like a Hydra dragon. Hydras are dragons. Come on, guys. This is also a dragon. No. Anyway, we have to make sure we're not going to get overwhelmed in the early game. We're going to try to really hard mulligan. Even Stubborn Gastropodny. And again, this is another removal card. I, I think this deck could actually do very, very well. And we have Frost Lich. It is so good. What's her name again? Jatna? Anyway. Jaina? No. Anyhow. Um, small removal, uh, yeah, well, we have a little bit of small removal. The gastropods can be used as small removal, even though they do remove big cards as well. Um, really, also, we have the, um, the Volcanic Potion, I think, is actually a really good pickup, even though I was a little reluctant p picking that up, but since this, this is just, this is just a control deck. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever had this con this control of a deck in Arena before. I think this has a lot of potential. I really think we could do quite well with this. Uh. Is it Jaina? Frostless Jaina? Okay. She turns into a Frostlich. So here's a three. I do like getting a three. There's two fours. Oh, but no, we're going second. Oh man, <laughs> look at this hand. This is so tough. I mean, we might get another three. How do we do this? Maybe we pass turn one, blast on two, three, four, and just forget about the three. I don't know. How do you play this deck? It's so sad getting rid of Fireball. It's so sad. Maybe we look... Well, let's look for an earlier job. You know what? Let's look for one. Otherwise, this will be three, four. We have so many good fours. Do I keep the four here? Ah, oh, it's so sad getting rid of those. They're so good. Maybe I should just hold on to Fireball no matter what. And uh, we have a very, again, it's very late. Let's hope our opponents aren't able to start off really high tempo uh, strong against us or else they're going to get messed up. You're right, Mindbreaker isn't that good against an early game priest, you're 100% right, but it is a it is good stats. It's a 2-5. It's a 2-5. Can't have Shadow Word Pain. Who is this? King Luck. I think 9 wins. Ooh. I don't know. You know, a strange play would be to coin luck. Coin and then do this one next turn. Is that insane or what? And that'll actually be able to take out basically basically anything he plays on turn three. This is really, really weird, but this is actually how I'm doing it. And then we have the Phoenix on four, and hopefully by then we'll get a five. This is such a strange play. <laughs> We're playing, we use the coin to play completely off curve. This is not good. It's a 2 1. We could have played this on turn 2. A 2 1 is not bad against against uh, Priest. Let's see if he has a Shadow Word Pain for this. Because if he's just packing a 3 drop, this is, I think he started with this one. Nothing. And there's Gastro Pot. Alright, let's use this while we can. Good card. Sun is set for me, and I'm feeling good. See, the two damage from the fire plume plus the two damage here could uh, probably take something out. Now oh, he's using this. Does bingo. Um, so we could go two from the phoenix plus three and keep this alive. Uh, the placement doesn't really matter here. See you later. So good this having, having this being buffed up. Two five is already amazing stats for a three drop, and now it's what it was a three six. Disgusting. Uh, so see what we get. Mind game, opponent's deck onto the battlefield. Gastropod, perfect. Thank you. Here's the Rubian. Um, so we are actually going to do a. Uh, we don't have to play around. Um, it's not such a. Oh, no dragons, right? It's not such a... I'm just trying to think if... Okay, so this death, this always goes in. Um, I think let's just play all of our cards. Again, if our opponent Holy Nova's here, it's really not the end of the world. You have to always think about their field clear, which it will take out these two, but this will then make a 2-2, two -two, and it doesn't really hurt these much at all. So we are very, very far ahead. I, I really want to... I'm going to be reluctant, especially since we have some removal on the field, reluctant to use this fireball. Um... End your turn. Okay, well, we have, we'll probably end up using the gastropod here. See if we get a dragon. No. Alright, Nerubian is fine. Wait, we don't have lethal. Do we? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16. It's close. Alright, let's just go with Nerubian. This is fine. I think the, um,. I think the hero power is going to help us eventually. We could very easily have lethals next turn. We have Bone Mare coming up. Yeah. See you later! Yeah. Go. <laughs> that 
was such a weird play. We coined in the Mind Breaker, and then we used our two drop to buff it up, which essentially made us just get really far ahead in that game. Again, we're probably going to end up losing all of our games from our opponents having very good turns one and two play, and we're just not going to be able to catch up. Even though we do have a lot of catch-up mechanics in this deck. We have three very strong field clear cards. Drake, Flame Strike, and um, look at that. We got a couple of twos this time. Huh. Prince Arthas. Fancy Palace. This is our, this is our three. Whew. So the question is, do I look for a four? Or do I say one of these are going to be our four? We have very, very strong fours. So, against Paladin, I think this is actually stronger against Paladin. I get rid of Gastropod early. Well, this will come in handy later in the game. This is, again, two, three. This is such a strong turn three play. I picked up the Nerubian since, because we had a general lack of threes in this deck. I actually wasn't counting it. There's another three. There's Bone Mare. Bone Mare is such a strong... They have really, really, really way above average strong strength of cards. There's nothing really missing in this deck. There's plenty of removal. There you go. Um, we could go with Mindbreaker and get a bigger discount on this. Gastropod. Fireball. <laughs> we, we might go with Gastropod. I wonder if Gastropod is good here. We could run this in and Gastropod. Yeah, if we Gastropod, that'll take out essentially both of these. Uh, as opposed to if we do Mindbreaker, so he'll just run this one in a second. Well, we could not attack because either run this the second time, we'll have a 2 5, then we'll have his play. As opposed to Gastropod run this in. Takes out two, then we'll have a 3-2 as opposed to his play. This way we'll have a um, we'll have a 2-5. This is tough. We could do these two next turn hey, also. Well met. What to do? I think it's like this. And we don't run it in. Uh, a chat draft? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. That's a nice idea. Okay. Whenever attacks, draw a card, great. Uh, basically, it mobilizes that. We could taunt it up, perhaps. Boom. Do we let him draw cards with this? I don't even know if attacking with this is worth it. What's better, a 1-1 one, one or a draw card? Let's die. I don't think we attack with this. He has immobilized it. It's possible we'll bone mare this. Well, probably not. Let's see. Maybe we'll get silenced somehow. You've got a End your turn, give minions. Give all minions in your hand 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a good fireball target. That is insane. Good polymorph. Let's just get rid of it. You can't attack. <laughs> it's just around for the whole game. That's fine. What we Abomination. Alright, so we do have Polymorph. Is Polymorph good here? Uh, I think it is quite good. Other plays to run these two in. Run these two in. Fire and play this. I think there's actually going to be a better thing to polymorph in a bit, so. Let him draw a card. Yep. 
Okay, enjoy your card, man. We always do this. The question is, do we want to hit this, or do we want to develop the gastro... Do you want to develop the gastropod, or have this have one extra health? I guess developing the gastropod is better here. What about Holy Nova, though? Or what about Consecrate, I mean? Oh, this is slightly better against Consecrate. It also does four damage to his face. Kind of Bone Mirror here. Bone Mirror is so powerful. Truth is my shield. Go. It's a decent polymorph. Bone Mirror really is not good. I think this is a new polymorph. I think we actually do develop the gastropod instead of pinging this. Okay. This prevents him from doing. It's also not turn eight, so he can't drink. Charge life steal. It's not bad. It's gonna be Bone Mare, I think. They don't have to Bone Mare, we can play on Curve. Is it crazy not to Bone Mare here? I don't want him running this in, so that's why Bone Mare is a lot better. Okay, so the question is, if he this will have five health, so it'll actually be out of range of this. Supposed if we buff this one, this one can get hit, so let's actually just do this and go face. We're gonna taunt up the one with less health. Wait, it'll be four, right? And this does one plus, this does four, and this will have five health. There we go. Bone Mirror Bellium. This is so much damage. And we're knocking on the lethal door already. It's gotta remove a bunch of minions here. It's going in. It doesn't really do much, though. Yeah, that polymorph would be nice here. This is one of the ones that got buffed up in his hand. There's our own bug creature. Creeper, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's, that's it. Ping, hit, hit. Yeah, that was good. Okay, got him. Well played. The battle is over. Ooh. <laughs> I like the way this deck's performing. Do we have a great curve? No. Do we have way, way, way above average cards? Yes, this is a good a good candidate for 10 to 12 wins. What is my real guess? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess 10. That's actually my actual guess. Alright, what's going on chat? Sorry. It's okay, didn't want, when I get my computer back, I'm going to have this on YouTube too, and it's going to be, you know, I'll find a way of dual streaming this, and uh, I want to keep you. <laughs> You're my favorite. Ooh, second. Ooh, ooh. Do we get... <laughs> Is this insane to keep Frost Lich? No. Let's just get let's just get good cards. We have plenty of late game. I love once you get Frost Lich Jaina out, if you're not like losing right away, you're 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 gonna you're gonna win. So we got um two, two, three. This is amazing. And he's starting off with the penguin. Shine bright like a penguin. Shine bright like a penguin. Zero cost one one. Someone picked a penguin. It's a beast though. Ah, beast synergy. It was probably up against chicken and who even knows what. <laughs> and wisp. <laughs> Value. Such a great turn to play. No, it's not good. Oh, sucks badly. Different two. Yes. Woo. Beautiful. What a beauty. We have spell damage. We could have fireballed that. No, no, we can't. That is such a great pickup. Holy moly. Okay. I'll probably play on curve. Oh, let's make this 2 Pretty good. Watch him just use his steady shot. Come on. If he uses a steady shot here, we basically win. We can start drawing cards. Oh, man. Wow. Poor. Poor man. 
Um, I think we do play this. Let's just think what the play is then. You know, we will have two and two or four next turn. If we run this in, this will still have three, so we could run these two, and it could also run something into this. It's not going to help, so having a three one would be nice. Yeah, we play this. We run you in. Either one of these running into this is fine. This will make a 2-2 two, two, and then this trades well. And uh, so we either have Fallen Sun Fire Blast next turn. We do have Cult Master if somehow uh, we get some value there. Or we have Fireball. Really? Wow, we! It looks like it's going to be Fireball. It looks like it's going to be Fireball. What is this? He's going face sack those in. Those are beasts. Are you insane? This only gets one extra health now. What are you doing, man? When a friendly beast dies, gain 2-1. So we're actually going to sack this one into here. This will survive. Cult Master will draw a card on this one. They'll just have a 1-1 one, one left. It's Cult Master. Weird. That was such a huge mistake. This he can sack into this one. I don't even care. Good. We don't get the 2-2. Two, two. Instead we draw a card. Beautiful. There's a the fireball. Okay. We have the dragon in our hand, by the way. So bookworm on 6 should be amazing. This is a really, really strong card. Pulling a dragon. Destroy an enemy minion with 3 or less attack. It's kind of... Is this a... Kodo's 2 or less. Yes. Yeah, so this is like an upgraded Kodo. That's okay. This doesn't do that much. That's a good fireball target. Great fireball target, actually. Now, if he runs... Huh, doesn't help. Okay, so this can be fireball, sack this in. Draw a card. Let's see what else we get. There's Frost Lich. So we're sacking you in. This is a great fireball, by the way. Uh, let's just draw a card first, just in case we get something amazing here. Gastro Uh it's, it's not worth it now. This is... We're just gonna... We could buff that up, but now let's... This is four damage to take. <laughs> Fireball, such a great, <laughs> such a value card. Uh, if he plays something with three or less, I'd love to get a good bookworm here. Come on, play just one mediocre card here. Play, play bookworm. Go for bookworm. If it's your opponent's turn, summon the skeleton. Okay. Um. So what have we got? We're obviously not doing the bookworm. So two and four is pretty good. It'll protect this. It'll draw us a card. We also could buff this up. I think it's two. This is a... You know, this actually really messes up our primordial drake very, very badly. So, uh, sad. This is 8-8. I can't deal with that. It's a fireball in our hand. It's a pretty good gastropod. I'd like this to actually get out of the way, so if he's smart, he'll actually... It's actually going to be a good play to use on the gastropod, which then makes the primordial drake so much better on 8. Potentially. Huh? It's a really slow play. If he does nothing else here, we've got 9, 10, 16 damage already. 17, 18. <laughs> and. Draw a random beast in your hand. 1, 1. Didn't do it. <sighs> so slow. So slow. There's another taunt. Um, so this does work here. This is not random, right? No, destroy the target. Yep, this is where we'll go. See you later. Very, very close to lethal here. So much now. <laughs> we actually fall off. I picked Bookworm instead. What did I pick it instead of? I picked Bookworm and it was a different not knock it was doing what? It was it was a gadgetson, which I'm really happy picking this instead of Gadgeson. We did get some good dragons, and um, there's not enough small tricks. Gadgeson's only good if you have small tricks, and the small tricks, I don't know, they're not that good. So that draws us a card. Now he does get the 5-5, five, five. okay, so he'll sack this in now. But it's lethal. I mean, 6 plus... Even if he puts a taunt on the field, it's still lethal. 
Well played, man. Let's not give him the well played until it's well over. Played. There are a lot of things we can do here. Overkill value! Enjoy the fireball. Fireball to face, it's so dirty. Well played! Easy three wins. Here we go. I will fight with honor. Here we go. Is this the actual game? Hopefully. Okay. Ooh, do I keep both of these? It's a three and a four. Um, do I keep the phoenix? Because it's so good, yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm not so happy with the starting hand here. Fireball. So much come from behind mechanics. It's insane. It is insane. We have several in our hands. <laughs> Guy. If it just goes guy and then ping here, let's see if we get a 2-3. Ooh, do we gastropod here for tempo? I believe we... Well, the, the problem is, what if our opponent... Do you know what? If our opponent... We have 4-4. Four, four. If our opponent guys again... Um, we can actually uh, point in Phoenix, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. Could have a weapon, maybe? Just guy again. So it's gonna be, he's gonna hit this in if we're gonna, right, can actually Phoenix the guy. The light dims. It's not divine shield. Piece of trash, no. Ouch. Okay. Uh, maybe we don't coin Phoenix now. Wish we could heal this somehow. Three, four, five. It's real be really nice to, to get the draw from this. I think let's just play on curve. Let's start some trouble. That wasn't a mistake. Now the problem is if he grows this, uh, it'll it'll trade really well here. Hitting this and us. Oh, oh, okay, that's no choice. It happens. Hopefully, he doesn't have anything good. If he has blessing of no, what is this? That's cool. Man, he got blessing. It's it's actually probably in this situation not that good. <clears throat> How do we get back into it? I'm not holding any dragons, are we? Just Phoenix, maybe? Hit this and fireball it? Do Does it make any sense? Well, we could Phoenix you. Hit this. And Phoenix this one. It begins. Guess so. Eh, it's not bad. Draws a card. Pretty good. Oof. I don't feel very comfortable with our position right now. We, we don't have to play this, by the way. If we really need a tempo play, we'll, we'll do it. That's a tempo play. Okay, so we could fireball, or we can do this and draw a card. I think this is still better, so let's pick a good elemental here. Um, no... Uh... This isn't a dragon, is it? Do we need a turn six play? This will be for next turn. Phoenix will probably end up being better. I wonder. Phoenix is the better card. We could use a six though. This is actually a very good uh, with Bone Mare. I'm actually gonna go with this. It Yep. We could coin Bone Mare next turn if we need to, by the way. Which, there might be a situation we'll do that. Pretty sure the freeze is gonna be good. And... Ogre. 
What an ogre. Hit the sin, freeze the ogre, and then set up bone mare. That's pretty good. We have ogre too. I don't remember we got this. I guess maybe the ogre's better? What if he has some damage? We really do want to set up the bone mare though. What would be the play though? Fireball ping this. Really would like to set up Bone Mare for next turn. That's tough, actually. I think frosting this is better because then we can set up. We really, if we we could just frost something next turn, it's not easy for him to deal one damage. And if he grows this, we could always fireball it. I think this is better. Ogre versus ogre, bring it on. I don't know. Uh, Frost you gotta use when when there's a trade he's gonna make that's gonna be very very weird. Huh? Now what? It's not bad. This still trades really well into here though. This gastropod. Flame strike's looking kinda happy. What if the gastropod gets hit by this? Oh. Uh, Phoenix turns out to be amazing. Phoenix. Hmm. Phoenix hit. Coin Fireball. We can Fireball next turn. Maybe Coin you. We also have Flame Strike, but I don't really see Flame Strike working here. This is a great phoenix. I think we actually coined in this. We'll probably end up fireballing this. It's possible we'll run three into it and then flame strike next turn. That's also a possibility. Hopefully it doesn't have primordial drake. That would suck. Primordial Drake. Yes! <laughs> Setting up that that flame strike. There you go. Do it! Do it! Thank you. Come on. Two small minions. Let's go. Two four fours. Or even buffing this up is not the end of the world. Oh. Let's see what he does. Even. Oh, this trades into here, okay. Zubat. There you go. That's the first one. One more. Let's go, one more! This flame strike is gonna be devastating, folks. Come on. He is really tentative here. Yes! Yes! And he played I ah, played all in on the flame strike! Oopsies! Oopsies! Whoops! You know exactly what's happening, man! Come on, man! Playing right into flame strike! Wow, wait! That could not have gone better. That could not have gone better. Out of my house, Mr. Flame Strike Face. Flame Strike him right in the face. Got him. <laughs> that is how you beat someone down in this game. Why is it not recording my win here? Go. 4-0. I don't know why it still says 3-0 here. I think the game got conf the thing got confused. Woo! Yeah, baby. It was at that moment he realized he <laughs> messed up. Flame Strike is arena, one of the best arena cards. Fireball, <laughs> just all the best arena cards. Which arena card are we missing? Which mage arena card are we just like, oh, we didn't get a copy of that. We got everything. All right, let's see if we can get a three. We're going um, second this time. Still no, oh, come on, man. Let's do this. It's like playing at the chickening, exactly. This deck is almost as good as this morning. <laughs> Fry lover ice cream. <laughs> the one I did this morning was I'd use this joke deck. I think we do develop this. Just coin in a three drop doesn't really help anymore. This is just for potential uh, control. This probably end up going to be uh, Frostbolt. 
That's fine. This absorbing a frostbolt at this stage in the game is totally okay with me. So we get a three. We do. He he didn't like this last turn. He was able. To, he used a frostbolt on it. So again, we have a lot of removal. This is just <laughs> anyway. It's just tempo. We just don't want. It. We want to be ahead next turn, basically. So, a three or a four. This will take it out. Coin. Ooh. Four. Dang it. Not good. Doesn't trade well. Anyway. Get all that shit. <sighs> Question is, do I run this in? Give him the 2 2 already. As supposed to this, then we'll have the. We won't have an accessible 2 2 this turn. What am I playing around by hitting this in, though? What am I playing around? This was good. Gastropod taking out a sticky 2 3. It's okay. Okay, so what if he kills this? So then this will trade one, well, these two will trade into here. Okay, what if he destroys this next turn? So he'll have a 2 2 against my 1, against nothing. It's not the end of the world. This is fine. Goodbye. The 2-2 two -two can go phase now. It's not the end of the world. I think there's more less less bad that can happen here. But if he has something to grow it, the mage again, against a hero that could grow things well, like if this was turn four paladin, uh, or even priest, I would be reluctant to do that, but mage is not gonna really grow anything on turn four, you know. Shard then. Oh! Value! Amazing. Advance, we got three and ooh. I wonder if we go for the potion already. Potion ping. Or we can go with this and ping. This is better. Better play. The blue dragon, what? Primordial Drake is so. Oh, what? The, uh. <laughs> the, which one? The bookworm? <laughs> is the best one. Uh. Oh, he gets that. He played a... which elemental? He played the Frost Elemental last turn. And so then... Um, it's... Fireball. Yep. I'm gonna keep this 3-1 on the field. And if this gets pinged again, it does make it 2-2, two -two, so... Alright. Kind of... well, using a Fireball on a 5-4, I, I should feel less bad about that. That's pretty good. And then we have 7 and 8 here. I always get these two mixed up. They're just so similar. They both play just like big brown creatures. I guess this one's more like a crab, and this one's a uh, enchanted bog. Okay, that gives us a two-two. Huh? That's fine. Takes away two, his two mana. Turns a three-one into a two-two. Only a fool rejects the lich king. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Someday I'll be just like you. And doesn't ping it. Spells are cheaper. Which spell costs eight? That's gonna mess this up. Nothing really. You can go face with this. Again, good polymorph fireball target. But we, you know, if this is gonna bait out the the polymorph instead of it going on the horror, I guess that's worth it. Geyser. Ooh, spell damage. Okay. Cult Master, wow. Nice! Beauty. Okay. I guess we gotta run this in now. Ping. Oh. It does go with this. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I guess we hit this and we didn't really have any big removal before, so gotta kill the cult master. And then we just go with the horror. So that's pretty good. Obviously cards are worth more than 2-2, two, two, so a yeah, nice 6-10.
Yeah, we have two fireballs in this deck. We used one already. We sent a 5-4. It's not over the world. Uh, this, this potion could be good. Man! Oh, we It's getting some value here. Where's that flame strike at? Ooh, this is harsh. Where's Bone Mare? Uh, I think Bone Mare Ping. I think this is actually good. It, our opponent has not shown us to have any big removal yet, so... And this will prevent strikes from working. Good card. Now it's a 10-11. Again, if our opponent does not have any hard removal, this will... We will have, like, lethal basically next turn. Runt. Again, what do we have? 15, 21, 22 on 23 health. Can't be targeted. That's fine. We do have some, some good small removal here. With the Volcanic Potion. Power consumes me. Huh? Yeah, in. And sacking these two out. That's <laughs> so sad. Phoenix. Uh, is that lethal now? This will be 15. Uh, 15 and 23. Yeah, it's lethal. 15 and 6 is 21, 22, 23. Goodbye. And we even had one overkill. We wanted to be on him. Well played. No, no polymorphs. Again, you can have a mage deck that just do you don't get meteor polymorph. And then what happens when they play bone mirror? If they get a good bone mirror target, there's just nothing you can do about it. And you don't get gastropods either. <laughs> Gastropod would have been amazing there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I do PvZ every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. But if you like PvZ, you will love this game. We are doing amazing today. This is such a great arena. Great candidate for... We're actually at five wins. It's only recorded four wins, though. <laughs> it's on the thing. It's 4-0. Oh. It's inaccurate. Look at the bottom of the screen where it says five, not the top where this silly thing says four. All right. Uh, two. Twos are good. I'm not even, <laughs> not even close to this playing Frostlich. And we have a couple of twos and a three. Nice. We can actually tempo this turn this time. Imagine this deck getting the good tempo. Going second, of course, with no one drops. Bat. Batty. So this is to a random minion. This is a really good one drop. Uh, random enemy. Um, I think this is, this is the better play instead of pinging it. Because if this goes face, we'll end up with a 2-1 on the field, which is really good. Let's see if he's... Thanks. Thanks. Um, okay. Pretty good. Four, five. Gives us, gives us Flame Geyser. Free card. Hmm. I haven't seen Valkyrie yet. Uh, he does run that in. Line breaker's okay here. Says Gastropod. Let's just go with that. Line breaker might be a little bit of a um, liability. Uh, you know this matchup because our power is just so much better than this. What did he do? He grew that. Ooh, that's harsh. Man, oh man. Woo, we can't even gastropod ping either. Uh, this can be, tar this can target this one, right? What if we ping next turn and we could gastropod. It's not a good play. This is better. So again, if we play this and we hit you, so he'll run this in, and then we'll ping it next turn. As opposed to this one. We'll run it in. Let's see what you got. Great play. If it just goes face, we're gonna 
Adapt. No. Health? Ooh, even 1-1 one, one would be amazing here. Fine shield. Wow, wait. He does go for it. Harsh. This isn't horrible. Guess we go with this for the value. So, if only this costs one. Man, he's got 10, 13 damage on our face. It's going to be very, very difficult to win here. We could have actually ran this in. Yeah. Might do that next turn. We actually can't ping this anymore. Is that lethal? 10, 18! Seriously? No, it's good. No, it's these one off. Yeah. Alright, so we can't heal ourselves. Uh, so his. Oh, his hero power. So we have to keep this alive. That's interesting. Now let's see what we can do here. We hit this in. We hit you. Gastropod. This can actually take out this one. This is interesting. We're actually still alive here. As long as we can keep Mindbreaker alive, we're good. <laughs> he can't use his power. We're technically still alive. He needs one damage right now. Or a way to just kill this. <laughs> Let's see if we can ride off one health for the rest of the game here. Discover a copy of a minion in your deck. How far can we go here? This is crazy. We have to keep this alive at all costs. Do two damage to all enemy minions. Um... Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Oh wait, oh, health. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay, so we gotta keep you alive. Uh, we run this in. Oh no! Wait. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I might have messed up. No, because now we need to ping. Oh, I forgot. No, now this dies. Oh, it didn't help. Did I mess up there? I thought I thought we'd be able to ping us, but we can't the same way he can. Oh, well played. Well played. <laughs> it begins. It begins. Oh, I got us. Maybe you won't see it. Maybe he'll obsess over the 5-4 so much. Ah! <laughs> that would have been so cool if we could have rode this out. Just some field clear, I guess that's all he needs. Hello? I should have fireballed? Oh, he has kill command anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's... Well, theoretical at that point. He top decked that kill command. Anyway, then he adapted the beast. I guess he was just a little faster. I didn't able to catch up. Okay, this is going second. This is not the greatest four anyway. Do we keep a three though? In case we don't get a three. Getting another three is not so likely. Against Paladin, this isn't a very good one. Well, it's okay against Paladin, I guess. Well, let's keep a three. We're five and one now. And, oof, bad starting hand. <clears throat> Pass. Gastropod. Might play Gastro next turn. Uh, choice of turn five. This is what could really get us ahead. This is not good here. This is horrible. Gastro Gastropod? What if he plays two minions? It's a risk we're gonna have to take. If he doesn't run this in, and the knife miss misses, okay, he runs in it. Ah, uh, because he wants the knife to... No, wait. No, oh, nice. Frost. Getting frosty. 
That's pretty good. We might grow this or ping next turn or something. Let's see. 4 5 isn't horrible either. This really trades evenly in the meantime. Breaker. I guess we grow this and ping this one. Flame Strike. That's what I want to see. Oh. No, well, we have to kill that. We have a bunch of turn five plays for next. The sun has set for me. The sun has set for me. Yeah, go. Yeah, so buying packs is good to buy to to do drafts. He hit with this first, another one. Okay. We're approaching flame strike. It'll happen eventually. Bone man. Uh, we can flame strike next turn theoretically. I don't want to tell him about the flame strike, so it could go wrong too. So we'll definitely run this in. That's frozen. We could have actually just gone face because it was frozen. Does it make any sense? Let's see if we can deal with this AD. Yes, more four health minions. Let's go. Thank you. He's actually running this in for the three damage. Weird. I guess he figures that's better than going face here. So coin flame strike is amazing. Coin um bone don't we can bone mirror next turn. Just coin flame strike. This is a great flame strike. It's gonna be so hard for him to come back now. I'll draw a card, but it doesn't even give him anything left on the field. So we can either Bone Mirror, we can Ogre, we can well, have Primordial Drake the next turn. This is two to all other minions, including our own. Okay. Freeze. Let's see here. Oh. Dragon combo. Probably Bone Mirror. I think it's best. This way, if he plays a bunch of little guys to try to take advantage of this, uh, we can we can Drake next turn. We can also just play six and ping next turn if he plays little guys. Anyway, so it means to take off to three. Well done, man. And nice, wow. So he had some removal getting back into it. Maybe playing ogre just to play around some hard removals. And I guess I'm not really that familiar with his cards, huh? Hitting this in. Six and two looks pretty good. Not bad. Got some spell damage now. Got really ahead with that flame strike. He was able to catch up. I'd love to get a good primordial Drake here. Or bookworm. Or some small guys. It's going face. Why? Beast. Are we down to seven health now? How did that happen? Gastropod, I guess it's good. Um. Five and two. It's better a five four here. This will be six. So it'll be down to. Um, we're gonna ping his face. So it'll be down to. Let's see here, sixteen. Then it'll be eleven. I think we'll go with you. So again, if he can, it just says consecrate. He wins. Maybe killing this would have been better. He has so many things that can kill this. Weapons. If not, we win. Spawns. Okay. Three, three. If 
fireball. So what do we do here? Um, this does seven? Oh, we have spell damage. That's interesting. So four and five, I guess. There's no way to pull this off otherwise, right? Taunt. I didn't have the damage here. We are very, very good to go. Elemental, definitely this one. Hmm. Plays gastropods. We're pretty good. Wow, I'm very surprised. If he would have had two damage, any weapon, anything that did two damage there, he would have won. I really. I wonder if there's a different way. I probably should have killed the. Eh, anyway. I probably should have actually killed the beast there. I could have pinged the beast and killed it with the ogre. And then it would have been slightly less risky instead of playing the gastropod. Anyway. We won. <laughs> so it counts. We're 6 and 1. This thing's not updated. You asked for it. Oh. <sighs> see here. It's a 2 and a 3. This really isn't that bad against Mage. Not as bad as it looks. It's sticky. 2, 3, 4. Yeah, it's a curve. We're <laughs> playing so many kills. This almost could work on turn 5, too. 6 with a ping. 6 with a ping was also good, actually. So, go. Again, ping, ping, both of these turns is going to put our opponent so far behind, so playing this into mage is not the end of the world at all. Yeah, I should have traded the ogre because of my health. I, I That was a misplay. Let's see ping this next turn. Be my guest. Be our guest, be our guest. So we have an extra card now because we'll be able to play this after one of the phoenixes. He can't make any good turn 3 play, though, because of this, unless it's Murloc. <laughs> I was just thinking, unless it's Murloc. No. And does ping this. Interesting. Okay, so it's going to be just Plume. Plume. We got a 2-2. Two -two. So we'll have a 3-3 three -three and a 2-2 two -two on the board. Perfect. Don't do much better than that. It's just nice developing with 3-3 three -three as opposed to ping, which does nothing here. Staying ahead. So if we have a good Phoenix, we'll go for it. If not, two damage to a random enemy. Though I think that was the one that. Well, oh, let's see. Interesting. Um, I guess we'll play on Curve. Right, this isn't so bad for our opponent to get. Is there anything that will affect the field when? Uh, Brothers, it's in the box. A water elemental, probably. Frost elemental again is a six, and we could really use a six. Six, seven, eight, as opposed to four and two. Oh, we're gonna go with frost again. Okay. okay. This is shining. We have so many elementals in our hands. Six, seven, eight. Another one. Uh, now I'd love to actually test for him. Give him a 5-5. Five, five. Bookworm. <laughs> I think we actually do the... Well, I guess we can always run this in. Let's actually go with this instead. We'll get the flame on the, or the geyser. In fact, we can... Oh. Huh? Got me right now. I think we actually, instead of sacking this in, we'll go geyser. Since we do have the primordial drake in our hand. We'll go Geyser. Counter spell. Your opponent casts a spell, add a copy of it to your hand that costs zero. That's fine. Which does very very little here. So he has, again, that was a great trick to spell for that. To, it wasn't even counter spell. <laughs> counter spell probably would have been better there. Because he does two damage, doesn't really work that well here. Okay, ping and. Okay, okay, got it. Never mind. Um, the Bookworm is pretty good here. So is the Drake. No, we can't Drake. Can Bookworm. Bookworm and Elemental looks pretty good. Might as well get the Bookworm out, or do we just go for the 6-8? 
You know what? The bookworm can sometimes take a three a three cost minion. That's like really really good. So I'd say let's do this. Should we play around Bone Mare? I guess we can play around Bone Mare if we do this. We can also go four and two and one, and then not play the Drake next turn. This is actually probably well. Let's place into Flame Strike then. So we play around Flame Strike or Bone Mare more. Bone Mare. This will we'll do on even if. This will be a 6-6. Six, six. It still doesn't trade well. Let's play. Flame Strike will actually uh, kill it. I wonder if I do this to play around Flame Strike. You know what? Let's not do it so we have a chance to Primordial Drake in case he puts some things on next turn. Well, that's not a bad calculation. 4 damage to face at this point is also pretty valuable. There you go. There's a Drake. There's my Drake. <laughs> There's my Drake. Welcome to Toronto, folks. <laughs> yeah, baby. Good freaking game. See you later, man. Ah, welcome to Drake Town. That's a 4 8. <laughs> That was good because we would have sacked this in. This would have died. Ah, the value. Good game, man. Good freaking game. And frost doesn't matter. We have handy dandy bookworm. I don't even think we need it. Yeah, we could. There's so many ways we can do this. Actually, wait. We don't have a dragon in our hand. Oops. Almost missed lethal. Oh, we do. Yeah, we have this one. <laughs> Never mind. I'm holding a different dragon. I have so much dragons. See you later, man. Goodbye. Yes! <laughs> the field clear is amazing! Alright, let's go. <sighs> Who's this, Rogue? Two into the four? Should I keep this? It's not a great four. We have a lot of really good fours, so chances are we'll get a better one. Would really love to start off with our Naga too. Cult Master. Oh. We have a tempo thing. Thingy. Uh, I think this is actually better earlier because it doesn't die to what's it called? It doesn't die to backstab. It'd be nice to actually get this together with a fireball or something, just get an extra 3 2 on the field. Sorry if there's a little lag. It seems like this computer is not good at running a stream and, and Hearthstone at the same time. What's that? Man, that's a lot of damage to your face, man. I think we're actually gonna Gastropod here. It's pretty good. It prevents him from coining this. It slows him down so much. Now he can't even make a strong play, because, uh, or else he'd be able to hit it and make a strong play. Com Defiance. <laughs> scrub! It's the scrub. Let's see here. Ping or gastro? What to do? He wants to run this one in. I guess Gastro does the same amount, right? It's gonna be able to weapon this next turn. Wait, so what if we... I think Ping is just better here. What to do? What to do? If we kill these two and play this... I think it's just Ping. Oops! I forgot to attack with this. <laughs> My bad. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, no, I should have attacked. Well, his weapon. Uh, I should have. I just missed one damage to his face. Okay. Shard. To keep that, that alive. Okay. He's taking so much damage. The high attack one is quite good here. Pretty good. So let's see up next turn. <laughs> he summoned a backup dancer. Again, he can go in with the shard again. I'll be down to 
using so much so many so much damage on these on these weapons here. Too bad that one damage we missed. He's going for it. It's fine. I think we draw here. Value. Let's get a good one. So far it's been two frost elementals. I think this is the best one here. Well, draw us a card eventually. <laughs> Random mage spell. Bookworm doesn't help. There we go. Let's see what we got here. We can go four and two. Problem is it doesn't trade well. Two, two, and two. Since he has this weapon up already. What to do? We can go near envy. Oh, not very good. You know, flame strike really is a thing. Two, two, and two is probably really good here. Uh, we can make. Which one are we going to buff up, though? Spells cost less. Can't really do this together with... I think we'll just do it like this. Actually, wait. Oh, now we can do Mirror Entity. Oh, I forgot about that. Is there a point in buffing this up? This just dies to Flame Strike, anyway. What's this? That's fine. There you go. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until I played this. Ah, it's a play. Draw a card, then add a copy to your hand. So it's just drawing. It's not playing so badly to Flame Strike. There he is. Okay, we played around. You know, Mirror Entity is the kind of the one you play around. So we could go Flame Strike here. It's a pretty good Flame Strike. Is there a way we can deter him from get one more, get greedy one more turn here? This is a Rubian. So you know what? I think it's going to be Flame Strike, and then we'll set up these next turn. I think this is pretty good. As opposed to growing this, hitting it into here, and going with these. No, we can't do that yet. Okay, this is this is it's three minions. It's pretty good. Plus, going face is good be up to eight. This will cost five. It's probably gonna end up being these. Coin mystery. Say hello to my little, Say hello to my little ogre. So growing this one is actually gonna be good here. And we get choose a friendly minion. Summon a copy of it. Whew, these two next turn. This will be amazing. And this is what we're doing. Gonna go five and four, especially with all the health we have. I'm kind of playing into flame strike a little bit. You're immune. And Slayer, harsh. It's gonna need a lot of hard removal though. It's gonna be more important than this. It's almost good he used some hard removal there. Don't face. Let's just we have to make sure that we're not playing into some sort of lethal thing here. Um, let's just check this. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so he'll be 8 off lethal. How much damage is he able to do? So you'd have to hit this twice. No, this is worth it. This will be lethal next turn. Let's just not play Primordial Drake next turn over that. Pretty good. 288s. <laughs> it's a giant deck. Needs 8 damage. Winter is here. Taunts and Divine Shield. Harsh! Um, it, the, the, the Drake will actually hopefully help with that. He's trying to kill these now, okay? Hmm. It's in the box. Spell damage. 
ping Whew, that's tough if we have to Drake just for the um just for the taunt this says exactly man this oh, that's harsh we'd be able to ping and Drake and, and kill him basically this turn I have to do this. Is there a point in pinging first? Wow, we're not in good shape here. This is a taunt. So the question is... Do we hit with this? Because then these... necessarily get through here. Amazing. I think we got him. It's a taunt. I don't think he realized it was a taunt. He, he, does he have one down? He has a backstab, maybe? Weapon. And? No. Still not. He's still one off. Uh-huh. Yes, we win! Wait, Phoenix. <laughs> we mean well played. Shut the f shut the heck up. <laughs> well played. Oh, well played. <laughs> There's so many things that do damage in our deck. We had two Phoenixes. I don't think we had one already. We had two Fireballs backing. Well played. It was well played though. <laughs> top deck. That was a really lucky top deck. Eight wins. Keep it going. Well played. I love the premature, well played, I'm gonna win next turn, so you might as well concede and not kill me. <laughs> Shut the heck up! <laughs> there, I almost sweared. It's official. Piece of trash garbage. <laughs> Hearthstone stream, welcome. Raymar the Great, thanks for joining us. We are doing amazing here at 8 wins. Despite what it says here. <laughs> the Overwolf is very slow today. Okay. Um, going second again. I don't think I keep this. Turn four, Drew. Actually, I could end up getting some value from this. If we go, should we do this because of the situation? It's, it's kind of better to play this earlier. Well, no, not really. There's fewer options. Coin. What if this will be coin and then this one? And then get then ditch the gastropod? But what if he wraths this? Eh, it'll actually keep me around in here. Yep, that's not a mistake. Cold master. Not a great boy. Let's see what happens. Wrath. It's okay. If he wraths, we'll just do this. If he doesn't have a play here. Even if he does, we'll just, if it's not Wrath, we'll just run it, play Miranda and then run it in, make sure that's the order. Oh, that's annoying. So he's a big card now. I think this is still better. Value. Me? Yes, you. Can it be? Then who? Now what you got. This kind of messes up his turn three play, because he has to play around Miranda, you know. Which otherwise the play is probably just hero power. And then it will mess up his turn four play. Pentha. So Gastropod is quite good on turn three here. Let's see if we get a different three. There's one. Oh. That's nice. Uh, we're gonna hold this for the Cult Master actually. And hold off on that. We could have gone face here, but this trades so well with this that I think it's worth it. And, and this will really take out his turn four play now. Delicious. Swap the attack and health of the minion. Okay, it's fine. It's gonna be Cult Master. We can actually increase the health of the Cult Master. That's cool. Card. I 
think we definitely got the better end of that exchange. So if we play something really big, we'll probably go Fireball. If not, we'll just go Val... Um, what's it called? Valkyr? Okay. 5-4. Taunt is cool here, actually. Problem is, then, it's, it's slow. I think this is better. We can always taunt later. Be so nice if we could play both of these. Let's just go with this. I repurify the fallen. No, it just doesn't die to the sport far. And if he runs the sins, then we draw a card. He can't really run it in now. Oh, I could use a dragon. Kodo! Nice! <laughs> what a what a combo <laughs> against this. Against what we had. Uh, if we had a dragon, it would be so good. We could have got him right back. Could have gotten him right back. All right, well, this is amazing here. It's still a possibility. The moment we get a dragon, we'll get this Kodo. 3-5 is very good to get with this. They have to get the Kodo Revenge. The Kodo Revenge! Ha ha ha! This is Arena, of course. <laughs> Even though this deck looks... <laughs> this deck's pretty awesome. This is a great... We're eight, eight wins now. Poison. Banshee. Bone Mare. Uh, Fireball and, um... Fireball and Gastropod, I believe. Still don't have a dragon. Other play? Seven, obviously not. What to do? Oh, that's a pretty good Fireball. Again. Mine is better because it has taunt. Piece of garbage. Yeah, piece of garbage. Wrath hit. It's, whatever. It's a slow wrath. I'd love to be able to bone mare. Phoenix. Dang. Wowie. Okay. Where's our dragons? Where the heck is there? He's going for the poison again. Still in this guy with the poison. I will actually get the poison mode if we get a dragon here. Where is the dragons? Is that? Three and five. Let me go seven and two next turn. Ping. No value, no elemental value. That's okay. It's a 4-5. <sighs> this Bone Mare is the thing that's going to get us ahead. I'm kind of happy all of his little poisons are going to be gone before the Bone Mare happens. So I'll probably actually hear a part of this one. That's my guess. Drake? This is a pretty good one to hit with the bone there. Again, if we get a dragon, this is again a play. Oh, we actually get this. Oh, uh, time for Jaina? Is it Jaina time when he has the 1-1 one -one on the field? Uh, I believe it is. Frostlitch Jaina. This is, again, he doesn't have enough to really... This is going to put us so far ahead here. Gonna put us so far ahead. There you go. Enjoy. The earlier you develop this, the better. So we have a free elemental right now. This does develop an elemental. It doesn't actually give us the empty field. Um, we have ping here. We we'll, might have ping here. This is gonna be. And he's, we have so much health. These elementals. We have a bunch of elementals in this deck too. Yeah, he has to sack that in. Good play, but it heals us. He's gonna have to. I don't even know what. Boom o'clock. Where is our dragons? Man, you know how good. You know how good. Um, what's his name? Drake would be here. Oh, there's a dragon. Nice. There's 
No ping yet. I guess we give the spell damage anyway to this one. There you go. Bookworm value. Got the dragon. I got the best deals anywhere. Ah, so much ping potential. So much. What is this gonna do? Three? Okay, sack that in. Kill the three two. <laughs> He's making sure that we can't ping anything. Five to your face. Could this get him back into the game? It's gonna be probably be bone there, I suppose. You can use this on our own guy, right? Ooh, now we have a ping play. And skip the bone mare. Just do the ping play. The sun has That's pretty good. Do the bone mirror later. This makes a frost elemental. It, we're kind of low on cards, so we kind of have to try to get every single every single frost elemental possible. I think bone mirror is going to be amazing. This just keeps healing us too. It's it's so good late game. It's so hard for an opponent. Uh, you know, if we have the alternate hero here to keep up with this, we can always bone mirror our frost elementals too, and then they're just going to do so much healing. I mean. Now what? The problems continue. You're frozen now. Can't even use this hero power. Uh, it's so. It's just. What are you supposed to do against Frostless Jaina in Arena? It's. What are you supposed to do? There's no like quick win conditions. We're at 30 health. We're gonna be at 30 health for the rest of this game, you guys. Infestation, okay, great. So that's his five. We'll draw some cards and get some whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be possible to ping. Even with that amazing card. So this is seven and six is 13, 14, 15, 16. What, are we one off? Again, this is 13, 14, 15, 16. face here. I'm gonna hold on to the fireball just in case. This is an elemental so it, it does have the synergy. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't think there's any reason to do this yet. We're just at 30 health. We have so much, so much here. <laughs> One off a of lethal. Give this man a concede button is right. With all the 10 cards he has in his hand, or whatever, however much it is, 9 or 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, he has 10 cards. He's probably going to have no answers here. I guess if he armors up... Huh. Never thought if he armors up here, we actually are out of ping range. But then he also has to deal with the frost, this frost elemental with 8, so... And the Phoenix. He needs to deal with both of these, basically. So, uh, I guess Armor and Flame Strike could save him for one more turn. Hopefully, he'll rely heavily on that. He doesn't have enough to armor, so. Don't play that. See you later. Fireball finish. It's so dirty. It probably was a different way there too, right? Uh, no, 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 no. No, actually, volcanic, ping. No, uh, anyway. <laughs> Poison blades and stuff like that. These are great cards, but we're gonna have to ditch all them for early game. Like, if we would get three late game cards here, we could just go down. Even if we got nine with this deck, I'm okay with this. And no early game. <laughs> we got a bunch of field clears, though. We're going to have to somehow survive. This is a fast road. We are going to be screwed up really badly. This is a horrible two to get. Uh, starting off particularly against Rogue, who has weapon and stuff. R. This is a great ping, though. And it's a decent four. 
Uh, you predicted nine. Okay. Come on, let's go, Mindbreaker. Nothing. We're still doing okay. The fact we got through past those first three turns, it could be the Phoenix will be able to deal with whatever I put in place here. Probably not. If not, you know, if it's a big thing, we could always just fireball it. Imagine. Gastropod grow. Hit, hit. Just fireball it. Fireball is quite good. Grow, grow gastropod, then just fireball it. Sad. I'd rather use my fireball on something better than that. Maybe we should have actually not, because then we could have saved it for silence. Boom. I think we're actually just gonna start setting up. It's so weird. Start setting up flame strike. Hmm. You know, let's just do this. Don't. Want to. You can always ping it next turn. It might really make a difference. We don't have to flame strike on turn seven. We have any way Drake here. I'll run this in perhaps. Let's do this. Next step. Weapon. Just mirror entity ping. Then if he plays something, he can't play something big or small. Is that insane? Nah. Let's just do a more valuable play. Like four and two. Four of this. Grow it. And a trade spell. What if he plays something big now though? Do we have a way of dealing with something big? Gastropod. I can go with Gastropod now, I think that's better. And if he decides, well he'll hit this, if he leaves us alone. It's possible Flame Strike will anyway be good this turn. So he does. We can always clear his field in Gastropod with something. That's pretty good, and Venom. Nice. Does he have a 3 drop? If he does, that'd be nice Ah, it doesn't count. Uh, Drake is gonna look awfully good. Man, we really don't want to feed him this though. I guess this will hit the Drake either way. Well, if we go four and two, just to make him eat this, which I think then he will. What to do? What to do? Kind of weird. Do have a flame strike theoretically set up for next turn. Let's get draw us a card. Probably will. I really would like this weapon to go before we play one of our big guys. Flame strike. one damage. He wants to keep the weapon though. Draws us that. We're still trying to bait it out. These can all trade into this if you want. Mere entity. Plays around him playing a big guy now. We'll probably play around your entity here. In fact, if he plays us. No, oh, we get one. That's nice. <laughs> Gave us a six. That's decent. 
Yes, and he uses that. Thank you. And I'll get a bunch of 2 2s. So the Flame Strike or the Drake are good here. I'll probably go with the Flame Strike just to include that. Actually, wait. We can, no, we can't Drake me. It's so nice if we play you, though. Uh, so Drake and Flame Strike are both so good here. We could go with Drake. Flame Strike will be probably better later. This way he'll have 5 damage to run into here, as opposed to if we Flame Strike. Man, it's we, I shouldn't think too much about this, because then he'll know we'll actually have a different play, <laughs> which is insane. Um, I think the Flame Strike is going to be more valuable later, so let's go with Drake, even though this will end up doing 5 damage into here. Oh wait! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, I screwed that up so badly. No. Of course the play was Flame Strike. I kept that alive. I'm stupid. You know what? It's possible we'll get a very good Flame Strike here and I'll make up for it. I was so dumb. What am I doing? It's like game costing. Seriously. What am I doing? I can't believe I screwed that up. I screwed that up so badly. Uh, no. Well, this was the play. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I wonder if I ping and do something different here. What to do? Totally screwed that up. Wow, that's probably going to make us lose this game here. Seriously. We would have had Drake coming up, and it would have been so good against this ogre. It would have been amazing. I just screwed up. Oh, man. Now we're so far, we could have actually done damage him in the face and to death. Guess, of course, the 4 6 taunt. Great. Totally my fault, what can I say? 14 damage on face. Do we have a taunt? We don't. No do anything. Look up Overwolf on Google, that's the thing that shows the cards on the side and stuff like that. Uh, first time we're ever starting off with Volcanic Potion, I actually believe I will keep this. In case this rogue gets a really fast start with a few things. I think I would have been able to kill him. Our opponent had 14 health, so we didn't really have a good way, you're right, of dealing with him. But with, between the taunts and everything else, I don't know. I'd love to get an early card advantage with Volcanic Potion. That would be good. Coin Scrub. Discover. I guess we'll go with the Apprentice. Like 3-2. Horrible. I think we'll get a three though. Or another two. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. This just makes our opponent coin next, uh, it's weapon next turn, which slows him down significantly. Such a slow weapon. Another one. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He's two hallucinations. That's nice. It's kind of sad using the the Phoenix like this, but I suppose it's worth it. Yep. Phoenix to face. Where's a better Cult Master here? I wonder if Cult Master really is better. It's nice to backstab. This also sort of does. I can buff it up next turn and make it into a 4-4. Four, four. We're actually going with you. It's nice to Phoenix. To face, we also have some elemental synergy. Maybe we'll save this far. Ah, feel bad about the last game. I screwed that up. I think we actually would have won. We were very far ahead. Uh, okay. 
Main difference between PvZ heroes and Hearthstone. I have a YouTube video looking that up, so just type in Frime Up into YouTube. It's my third to last video I made. Just type in Frime Up Hearthstone. It'll probably be the first one that comes up. PvZ heroes more kid-friendly. I guess this game's a little more serious. Run the thing volcanic potion. <sighs> if we give this health, it'll be three and just weapon. As opposed to it being just this one, then I'll have this one open. I guess that's worth it. We can always do that next turn. I will purify the <laughs> Three weapon, then, you know, volcanic potion might be a thing. Or just phoenix? Oh, we'll see. We will see, and I'm feeling good. Bum bum. Rock. Right in the rock. Interesting he doesn't hit that with his weapon. Why did he use the 2-1 there? That's weird. Nice flame strike next turn. I feel like these all go into this. I'll take 6, I'll take 8. Hit this in. Four and ping, I guess. Die as you lived. We could just go with the U. I don't have to do this. Set up flame strike for next turn. I think so. Again, he might hit all these in here, but I think that's actually not beneficial for him since one of them's a taunt, especially. We can also volcanic potion uh, plume if he puts something with four health. Well, if he puts just one guy with four health, that'll probably be better. Or we have flame strike, so. Or we have bone marrow just in case. Man, it's got a lot of discover. Hopefully nothing too good. Poison weapon. <laughs> Crazy. Setting up the field clear. It's important to kind of put something on the field that's not benefic beneficial for him to keep his small guys and then maybe put more small guys in the field. Opponent's thinking about it. Really, we're at 30 health, so it's going to be hard for our opponent to beat Frost Lich Jaina. Is that that's fine? And that's it. Okay. Three and four. I think it's just five and two again. This is a fake. Of course. And the Frost Lich, together with all these, we have so many elementals in our hand too, it's just gonna be... We're gonna be all... We're not gonna go under in terms of health unless he pulled off something amazing here. I wonder if our opponent's packing a Bone Mare and he did that just to stall for one turn. Let's see. Even the Bone Mare... Death Rattle. He's actually running these in. Weird. Weird. It's a little harsh. Let's 
seven, eight. Just the horror. Not a good flame strike. Not much more to do. Didn't have some hard removal either, so so hopefully we good. Can always flame strike the next turn. Let's see if he plays into it. Po has polymorph? Wow! Piece of garbage. How much damage are we taking though? Are we going down here? Seven. He had polymorph. No. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. What is going on? What to do? What to do? It's definitely not a good game yet. Seven, ten, eleven. We clear his field. We kill this. We can't set something up with that. Flame strike doesn't work here, right? Flame strike, pain, no. This is two all minions. This will theoretically be able to heal us next turn. Play our cards right. If our opponent doesn't have exactly lethal here. Hit. And. Really? Wow, we. <laughs> Dang, so it was the reincarnator that got us. We got nine wins. I thought we would go further with this. Alright, still 9 wins is amazing. Get 9 wins every single time in Arena, you are doing just fine. Ah, okay. Got him. This game is RNG reliant. Some cards, it depends on the cards. Also, just getting good picks for uh, Arena is important. So. We still get a whole thing back, we get a card and a pack, so we get way more than we spent on the Arena. I get significantly more, I'll say that way. Alright, it's I'm, I'm happy getting 9 there. <laughs> we misplayed that last game. Never gonna do that again. You kinda make those mistakes once and then you don't. Get a couple rares. Do do Shaman freeze. Alright guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. That was a good it was still a great arena run though. Went nine. Nine wins. If you get nine every time. Doing just fine. <laughs> Drunk fry. <laughs>